video. Today we're going to be making this DIY sticker book that I've been telling you all about. This project, all you're going to need is a set of dashboard, adhesive roll-on, some scissors for the squiggly, so it's going to be cute, and a sticker book. I'm going to be using the student sticker book and a planner that you don't plan on using. Go ahead, grab your supplies and come right back. Now that you've got your supplies, so you're going to cut the side to be about this size. What I did was that line for that vertical, I just cut along there. Use scissors or you can use a cutter like this. This um, I bought along with my Cricut. So I just lined the paper up, put like five sheets under there, cut it, and it saves a lot more time than cutting with scissors. All right, so you're going to grab that sheet that you've cut and prepared. Grab a sticker sheet. From the sticker book of choice i like to do it in order so i'm just going to grab that top sheet there. so this was the purple student sticker book and i placed them in that same order that they were in same thing with the rainbow it's in the exact same order so once you got your planner sheet that your sticker sheet that you would like to use you'll get that adhesive roll on now what I like to do to, cause this, it wasn't expensive, especially since I used that 50% off coupon. Y'all know, I don't, I don't play when it comes to the coupons, but it wasn't expensive, but I still don't want to overuse it or use more than I don't have to, not excessive. So I just make three marks on each side, like so. I know, um, I got this idea from Mermaid's Logic on Instagram and I think Mermaid, logic all they did was put it for the top and the bottom which that works as well but for me it was driving me crazy if the side was lifting up so i decided to put it on the side then you want to line this up make sure that the sticker sheets are not on your happy planner hole punch holes and then you press it down and there's your sheet so i'm going to grab this side And I am going to roll one, two, there we go. One, two, and three. Oh. And I'm going to place it down like so. And there you go. That's all. That is all it is to it. Something else that I want to show you guys is how to organize it is by keeping the top and the back cover from the sticker book and also if you guys look the back of your sticker books it has a picture of every page in your sticker book which is great because you can when you have it in your diy sticker book like so it can act as a table of contents and let you know, um, like for me, I'm like, you know what? I had a sticker book that had birthdays. Don't remember which one it is. I can just flip to where I have the front and back covers. And right there, you guys can see my birthday stickers that I tend to use majority of that up. But yeah, it's, it's very helpful. So when you're done doing all the sticker sheets out of the book, you are going to grab the front and back cover, just like so and cut along right here these are the squiggly scissors so it's gonna have a little design at the top let's see it should be the matching design of the scissors and i'm going to take a sheet of paper and just like we applied the sticker sheets we're going to apply the sticker book cover and back cover to the sheet. And once again, you wanna make sure you're not covering up the happy planner holes there. And just press it down. And we're gonna do the same thing to the back cover. So we're gonna cut off this top portion here. This will be my divider and let me know what section or sticker book I'm currently working in and I'll just pop that on in. 
I'm going to take these covers off and I'm going to replace it with this cute dashboard cover because it is the perfect size for the sticker books. Because one thing I don't like about this cover, let me show you guys. I don't like that gap there. Do you see that? Like even holding it, it doesn't feel organized or anything like that. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take these months off. Okay. I'm going to open this up. And it's just so cute. And it's a pack of three. You guys have seen this in my classic size catch-all planner. It's the same dashboards. So, since I like the whole gold on gold look, yeah, I know, I'm constantly talking about my color scheme. But yeah, that will be my new cover. And any one of these can be the back. I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna snap that right on and there you go your DIY sticker book so this will be great if you have four or five or even three of your favorite sticker books that you want to take with you on the go or take to work and bring home or anything like that make one of these and that way you'll always have your stickers with you please feel free to like comment and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be sure to answer them to help you with your project thanks planner babe see you next time